Welcome on back to another gem editor tutorial. This one's going to be back on the Halo mod. Had a handful of people asking for this one specifically, and it's pretty quick, so may as well go over it. This is going to be how you're deploying units from both the Phantom and Spirit in the Silent Cartographer mod. Once again, for Call to Arms, both of these work the same in terms of how to deploy units. The easiest uh, manual way is going to be if you're controlling these units and how you do that is you select them and then down here where this little it's actually a pelican dropping button but that is going to be how you deploy your units so I will do it on the spirit click that as you can see doors open wraith drops and then your units spawn out of the side pretty straightforward and then obviously they can go from there now if you're doing a battle or not playing as the Covenant, you might be asking, well, how can I do this without manually clicking on the unit? And that's what we're going to show you today. So first off, once again, this works the exact same for both the Spirit and the Phantom. I would just be using the Phantom today because I like it more and I'm biased. So off the bat, obviously, we're going to have to give our Phantom a tag. So you're going to give that whatever you want. Control T to get the tag menu up quick. I'm just going to name it. Oh, we got caps. Phantom. Easy enough. After you name your phantom, you're going to want to set the waypoint that you want it to go on. If you're using waypoints, but if you need to adapt it to something else, this should be pretty straightforward. So we're going to give it a nice path. And it doesn't matter how many waypoints. Just make sure you have a waypoint where you would like your covenant to drop. So I'm going to have my units drop at, let's say, 1. And so to do that, you're going to go to commands add we're gonna go to entity effect and then right here in the effect you're gonna write deploy and that is it and what that means is once the phantom gets to waypoint one it's gonna deploy and pretty much do the equivalent as if you were to press that button while at one now the unfortunate thing is the phantom doesn't work like normal vehicles would with units and what I mean by that is if you have watched the Bradley video or just know how waypoints typically work say we were using an emit here with some sort of vehicle that had humans in it instead of the covenant fauna the vehicle would stop let them out and then continue on because this is a special script that's unique to the silent cartographer mod when it gets to one it will not stop and wait for the covenant to drop out instead it will drop them as it's flying along which most people are fine with but if you want it to wait, you're going to have to set up two individual waypoints that are not linked and then have a timer and then set it to go on the other one. Sounds confusing, but honestly, you don't need that. But if you're wondering how, that's how you do it. Now back to this, I'm just going to set a nice delete command at the end. And then we will set up our very simple actor to waypoint command. I will just name the start. You can name whatever you want. We're going to go scene. No, we aren't. We're going to go other, actor to waypoint, selector. We're going to get our phantom tag or whatever you named it, phantom. Start it at waypoint zero. I'm going to teleport and rotate it. And now just to make this easy with no complications, I'm going to put them right on over there. And then we can hit start. I forgot to set its altitude, but you can do that. As you can see, it's going to get to waypoint one. And then it will drop our fauna as it drives by. And there we go. Doesn't look like it liked that delete command for some reason. I've used it many times before and it normally, oh, I put a delay. Well, I'm an idiot, but if you put a delete, then it would delete itself. Nonetheless, though, that is how you get Fauna to drop out on their own. If you got any questions, feel free to drop them below. But if not, I will see you in the next one.